Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here at Rule 1 Model Railways. This is part number 3 of how to make the hillsides. Stay tuned for more. So welcome back. Um, just a quick note there, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, hit that like button if you like the content you see today. Now, what I'm doing now, this was the hillside that we've just finished making the uh, physical structure for. As you can see, it's dried really hard and uh, it's perfect now for painting on. So we're going to paint it today. And today I am using this colour brown, it's called Heart Wood. Now you want to use this colour brown rather than the actual colour of uh, mud or dirt because it doesn't look right in model form. Um, and we will just have a go at this one. Now I made that mistake before of using the actual colour of mud but it doesn't actually look right once you're trying to put the green scenic scatter on top of it. So we're going to use this colour today. But once the green's on top of this, this won't show through as much as a darker reddish brown. As you can see there, it comes out a greyish brown. Which is ideal for modelling. If we don't like it, it's quite a light colour. We'll always paint over it with a darker one in the future. But um, this is what we're using today. There we go. So I'll give you a view of that. As you can see there, that hillside is all painted. And again, the reason for that colour quite light is because it doesn't contrast so much against the um, scenic scatter we're going to use the greens the dark greens the light greens all that if a little bit of this shows through it doesn't show up as if uh, it was the actual color of mud which is like a darker color and I've also painted any areas which uh, more scenic scatter will go down on all the way along to my tunnel mouth and that gives you an idea where we're going to put the grass and the different scatters down and uh, we will now complete the same for the other end once this hill has been glued down and some extra bits put in where the gaps are but that's it for this episode um, I will bring you part 4 shortly once this is dried and we have some scenic scatter to put down we have to pick out which one we're going to use yet. Um, if you have any good recommendations for realistic scenic scatter, do leave it in the comment section below and I will check those out. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and take care. Goodbye now.